Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. My name is Sam Smith and I am so excited to be covering this next villain because it is the first from the Perfectly Wretched expansion. Now I'm sure you guys are all opening your boxes right now. I hope that you guys watch this video today because this is going to be such a fun day for you guys getting to experience these new villains. Thank you for making me a part of that if this is the day of release. Um, but with that, Corella's ghoul is actually pretty simple. She has 12 puppy tokens that you shuffle and place face down in front of her realm. Now throughout the game you're going to be collecting those puppy tokens and they're going to have a location on the bottom of them. You're going to have to place it at that location when revealed. Once it's actually in your realm, you're going to have to use cards to collect them from your realm into your collection pile of puppies. Once you have collected at least 99 puppies, you have to wait till the start of your turn and then you have won the game. However, is it really a victory when you're collecting and capturing adorable puppies? Mm, that's something to discuss, but we'll go ahead and call it a victory just so that I don't make her mad. We are going to be going through her cards, the four locations in her realm, as well as I'm going to give you three tips and strategies at the end of the video on how to play her better. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Hero Puppies is an effect card that only costs one power and allows you to choose a puppy token from the supply and place it into your realm. Really great card, really cheap to play. When you get the card, go ahead and use it because at the beginning of the game you really need to get those puppies on the board. Now bought and paid for is a way to actually get the puppy token from the realm into your supply and this is definitely going to be one to hang on to just in case your allies that you usually use to capture those are not available. So definitely keep this card into your hand. It's going to be a very powerful way in order to grab a puppy token at Cruella's location. I Live for Furs is a free card to play that allows you to gain one power for each location containing a puppy token. So not for each puppy token, but you know, each location that has one. So up to four. But this is still going to be a really great card because it is free. You're definitely just going to want to use it as long as you have at least one puppy token. Now Spotted is going to be a really great card to play because this is going to help you deduct what you have in your puppy supply. Now you get to reveal them, you don't get to place them in your realm, but this can help you realize if you have the, either the 22 puppies or the 11 puppy tokens. This is going to help you gamble as to whether you want to try to draw a new one or you can just grab one of the ones that you've already revealed. I would only recommend grabbing one already revealed if it is a 22 puppy token. Whatever it takes is another effect card in Cruella's deck and what this helps her do is to use an action that is covered by a hero. The most powerful actions that you're going to want to use this for are the activate actions located in Hell Hall and Radcliffe House because these are the only two locations that contain those and they can both be covered by heroes. Now let's talk about the two allies in Cruella's deck. We have got Jasper and Horus. Each are both activatable cards. Let's start with Horus. So Horus, he can either capture one puppy token at his location or choose one puppy token from the supply and add it to the specified location. This is going to be a very powerful ally to make use of. You're going to want to try to use him every turn in order to be finding more puppies and just placing them on your realm. But then we've got Jasper, who you actually have to pay one power to use his activate ability, but he can capture up to two puppy tokens at his location. One thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that he is in a place with a lot of puppy tokens or at least in a place where you're expecting a lot of puppy tokens to be showing up. And remember, these are the only two allies and once they are discarded, it's not going to be very easy to get them back. So what I would always recommend is placing fireplace poker on them because this will allow you to give them one extra strength as well as whenever they would be attempted to be discarded by any card effects, you can just discard this instead. 
Now the Roadster is a very, very powerful item in Cruella's deck, one of the most powerful items. Now how the Roadster works is whenever you use a move item or ally ability, you can move this to any location instead of just to an adjacent one. And while doing so, you can take up to two puppy tokens with you and move them wherever you want. You're going to want to try to get this into the hands of Horus and Jasper, so try to move it to their location. Devilish is one of the conditions in Corella's deck and what it allows you to do is when an opponent defeats a hero of strength 3 or less, you can defeat a hero of strength 3 or less. And in most cases, I always say, you know, don't keep on to conditions longer than you need to. In this case, it might be a really good one to keep on to because you only have those two allies in your deck and if you have a ton of heroes in your realm, it's going to be really hard to get rid of those if you're not getting any of those fireplace poker cards. So this can be another alternative way to get those heroes out of your realm and open up those action spots for Cruella to use. And then the second condition in her deck is Cruel, which whenever another player moves an ally or an item, you can play this to choose one puppy token from the supply and add it to its specified location. This is another good one because you're going to be wanting to take any chance you can to get puppy tokens onto the realm, and you're going to want to do that as fast as you can while playing her. And of course, one of her most famous sayings in the movie, this card is literally just called, You Idiots. And what it does is allows you to grab an ally from the discard pile or move an ally to the same location as Cruella. Both of these are going to be really good uses for the card. Obviously, if you have one of them discarded, use it to get him out. But this can also be really helpful if Cruella is at a location with a couple puppy tokens. You can move either Horus or Jasper to her location and start working on capturing those. Now that we have looked at her cards, let's go ahead and look at the four locations in her realm. Now the first location is the Radcliffe House. This is going to be a very great location for Corella because it contains a Fate action, an Activate action, a Vanquish action, as well as play a card. Any location with an Activate action is very important for her because that's going to be one of the main abilities you can use to get those puppy tokens captured. But this is also the only place in your realm that has a Vanquish action. So really, try to keep as many heroes off of this space as possible. And then the next location is the countryside. We can play two cards here, move an item or an ally, as well as gain three power. This is definitely going to be a good filler location in order to gain some extra power and use a couple of cards, kind of getting set up for collecting those puppy tokens. This is going to be one of the main ways you can move the roadster around and get those puppies where you need them to be. Then we've got the milk farm. This is going to be a location where you can discard cards, gain a power, play a card as well as fate an opponent and I would probably say that this is going to be one of the least utilized locations but the cool thing about Cruella is that those puppy tokens are going to be appearing at any of these locations so you really do actually have to focus on each of the locations and make sure that you're able to capture those puppy tokens at each of them. And then the last location we've got is the Hell Hall. Here you can move an item or an ally, you can use an activated ability, you can play a card, gain one power, as well as discard cards. This is going to be very powerful for Corella because once again, it's got that activate action, but it also has a move item or ally action. So this is going to be a location that you can move the roadster and then use an activate action to capture them. Really, really good combo spot, as well as discarding cards to get to more important cards is also really good. So all around, Hell Hall is a very important location for her. Try to keep this clear from those pesky heroes that are going to get into your realm. And now that we have looked at the locations in her realm, let's go over the three tips and strategies that I have for you. Now when playing Cruella, remember that there is 12 total puppy tokens. There's going to be two 11s for each location in her realm, as well as one 22 puppy token for each location in her realm. So if you see a lot of puppy tokens appearing in one location, or a couple locations, you can kind of use deduction as to where the next puppy tokens are going to be. So try to plan out where Jasper and Horus are to be ready to grab those puppy tokens, especially if you know that more puppies are going to be appearing around that area 
due to what you already have either revealed or already in your realm. Board placement is super important when playing Corella, so try to look at the whole board as a whole and make sure that you've got Horus and Jasper in key locations. Try not to keep them together, try to keep them separate so that you're covering more area space. You're going to want to try to make sure that you are ready for wherever those puppy tokens appear. I try to keep the Roadster, Horus, and Jasper all at separate locations whenever I can so that wherever a puppy token is I at least have options. And my last tip and strategy is going to be to focus very, very heavily on just getting out the puppy tokens. Now you don't just have to get the puppy tokens out and then collect them in order to keep getting them out. You want to try to get as many out as possible because they're going to be going back into the pile. You're going to be struggling to try to keep them on your board. And so what my advice is, is use all of the cards to try to get them just onto your realm as quickly as possible. Because there's just no way of guaranteeing that you're going to get Horus and Jasper out, but when you do, you're going to want to have a full board ready to be collected for them. So really focus, focus, focus on trying to get as many puppy tokens out as quickly as possible. And that is it for the guide. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this. I'm so excited that I can actually talk about Perfectly Wretched now. And I'm going to be covering all three villains, of course. So if you liked what you saw today and you want to see Mother Gothel and Pete, please go ahead and like as well as subscribe. Comment down below what your favorite character from 101 Dalmatians movie is. And click the bell notification if you want to be notified when my next video releases. I've got links down below for my Instagram and Twitter. Do you want to know which villain's coming next? Well, go ahead and follow those if you want to find out. And with that, that is it for the video. Let's go ahead and drop the beat.